day, eh, Mason? Yeah, real hot. Hot as they come. Hotter than yesterday, and the day before that, and the day before that. It's like every day we stay here, it gets hotter. Hotter and hotter. 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 When are we gonna get out of here, huh? I mean, out of the farm? Out of the heat. Out of this life. Out of the farm! When are we gonna damn get the hell out of here? Listen, the old man, if he wasn't sick, it would be different. The old man! The old man! Ah! Okay, guys, that was the original shoot we did three months ago. Now, here's the reshoot we did yesterday. Okay. It's hot out here, eh, Mason? <sighs> yep. Don't get much hotter than this. Do it. No, it don't. Hotter than all the days, hotter than all the nights. It's damn, damned hot. Makes me hungry just thinking about all the heat. Makes me hungry hot! Damned hungry hot. Damned chips. Need some help there? I, I can't seem to get a proper handful. Oh, why don't you get your sweaty hands all over the chips? Granted, it's a different take from what we did the first time, but here's what I wanted to talk to you about. Um, I liked it. I thought it was way more real. Yeah, and you, you know what we could do is we could splice them together. No, we can't want. splice them together. Don't you see the glaring continuity problem? Oh, you mean the lighting? It's not so bad. I'm a big fan of natural light. Guys, it's not the lighting. This problem is bigger. You know, wider? It is shocking. It's shocking the variety of chips you can get today. Can you put down the chips a second? I have to assure you that I, I really am not bothered by the lighting difference. It's a fatter problem. You see where I'm going with this? Mom? Mm-hmm? I want you to squint your eyes and stand back a little bit. Have I gotten really, really fat? No. No, you're not too fat. Oh, jeez. You're growing, Brendan. You're at that age where you're, you're a growing boy. And what have you been feeding me? Honey, I've been feeding you the same thing that I've been feeding myself. And do I look fat? I'm not fat. No. What did you mean by that? By, by no? No, by no. I was just going to say, like, I don't think you've gotten that much fatter. It's that wording again, friend. It's hard, Mom. Seriously, from down here, you look gigantic. But that's because I'm small. <laughs> Welcome to the Fat Club, Brendan. No. Yes, you and me. Fat club members. No. No. Yep. No. Nothing wrong with it. In fact, you should be proud of your size. No. And I'll tell you, the first way of dealing with your fat is admitting it. Now say it, fatso. No, you say it. All right, you're fat. And you're getting fatter. It's amazing. I love it. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm, okay, I'm fat. Big deal. Well, you know what? You passed the first step, Brendan. Now the next question you have to ask yourself is how does being fat work for me? Well? I don't know. Well, it makes you funnier. Everybody loves a fat guy. They're funny. I would have to get really fat, wouldn't I, to get really funny, right? No, no, sometimes you just have to be a little dumpy, which is what I would call you right now. I'm dumpy. Yeah, it's phase one. Okay. There's about eight phases. It starts from dumpy, then it goes to frumpy, then it goes to fat. Right. Six phases of fat. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I'm just saying. You get fatter and fatter. That's what happens. You start <laughs> the cycle, and then you don't stop. Mm-hmm. Isn't it, like, totally unhealthy? So? All right, how about this, Brendan? Yeah. Some girls like fat guys because their fathers were fat, right? Mm. So you play on that. It's the fat father syndrome. It's the FFS. Fat father syndrome. Yeah. Girls have fat fathers, all right? Mm -hmm. So when you're fat, you remind girls of their father. Right. Done deal. Jeez. Than... Wow. <laughs> Still fat. <laughs> Oh, I'm fat. Boys, you have both put on a great deal of weight in a very short amount of time. Tell us something we don't know, sweetie. <laughs> I can help you lose weight. I think we'd better put you two on a diet. Out of the question. No more junk food and going to gym class and exercising. No, yes. no, 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 yes. no, 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 no. And it'll no. take a while no, to lose nurse. the weight. No, that's, no, Jason, no, that's no, the way it no. goes. Well, wait, I want to see a um, yeah. accredited physician. Jason, we can go to a doctor that can do this overnight. Yeah, we'd a like doctor to... will tell you the same thing: eating healthy and wrong. exercising. Wrong. Okay, listen, Dead Jason. Wrong. I just want you two to be healthy. Your words mean nothing to me. All right, Brandon. Yes. If you would like to follow my lead, I will be walking out of here. Okay. Nurse, you'll certainly be hearing from us again. Okay. Yeah, get ready for the biggest lawsuit you'll ever imagine. Lady. <laughs> lady. Lady. Okay. Having lunch there? Yep. What are you, uh, what are you having? 
salad. What about you? Just came in to get some water. You know, I don't have to pay for it. Right. <sighs> You're pretty healthy, huh? Yes, I do. Yeah, like a goat. <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> cute. Mm. You know, chewing on your greens. <laughs> mm hmm. Well, brought up that way. Mormon? No, I, I just, you know, started doing it on my own one day. Oh. So what about your dad? Was he like a big fat guy? What? I, I don't know. I mean, was he like, you know, big, like me? Um, yeah, I mean, he was a little heavy when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah, I figured. Why? It. I mean, he was heavy during, you know, the, your more impressionable years. What are years. you asking me? I have nothing. I was just trying to get a feel of how fat your dad was. Yeah. So I better go, you know? Okay. What? Lunch is lunch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll see you around. See ya. I'll see you. So you want to go out on a date? Look, I'm not interested in dating you, McGurk. Well, I didn't mean like a date. Really? Just like hang out. Like go out, hang out somewhere. I would hang out with you only in a group setting. You know, like a faculty meeting. That's great. That's what I'm talking about. Hanging out with a group. That's what I love. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. You like laser tag? No. Paintball? No. You know what? This has been great hanging out here. Let's just... No, I'm gonna hit it. So how long would you like your membership to be? I don't know. What's the cheapest possible plan? Okay, you know, you could do a two-year package. Uh... Okay, how much is that plan? The basic is $500. $400. Yeah, 500 $450. Wait, what are you doing? Okay, how much does it cost for, say, like six months? Six months, well... No, you don't want that plan. Why don't I? Well, because on that plan, you can't use the pool. But that's okay. I don't want to use the pool. Yeah, you, know, you can't use the towels. I'll bring my own towels from home. Yeah, and that plan also restricts you from using over 80% of the exercise machine. Even better. What can I use on this plan? Uh, free weights. That's good. That's it. Lynch, I've been looking for you everywhere. Well, it appears as if you found me. I just want to ask you something. What? Why don't we ever hang out, huh? Um, possibly because we hate each other? Well, yeah. Look, you want to go out on a date with me? Hmm. No, a double date, Lynch, all right? You, me, and two women, a group thing. Going out somewhere, having fun. Wait, first of all, with who? Well, the nurse. Well, then who would you be taking? The nurse. Well, who would I take, then? I don't know. What about Mrs. Adamson? Uh, she's married, uh, Mrs. Right, right. What about what's-her-face? That does biology. Oh, Carol, what's her face? You mean the blondish ponytail? Yes. No. Oh, man, Lynch, you're a little picky. I'm not picky, I'm choosy. So what's it gonna be, the lunch lady or the math lady? Hmm, that's a great choice, thank you. Uh, no and no. Look, I'll pay for drinks. Deal. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh so good. Jason, wait. Well, Jason, we're breaking the diet. I know, I know. I, I know, know, but I was eating healthy all day until we got here and, and snuck food out of the house. Me too. I starved myself until now. Now well, the payoff is so worth it, Brenda. We're just going to get fatter and fatter. Mm, I know. Brenda, the only time I eat a lot is around you. The only time I eat a lot is around you. Huh. What do you think that means? I, th I think it means that we're... I think we're fat enablers. We are? We create a situation where it's okay to eat a lot. It is okay to eat a lot. No, no, it, it isn't. Jason, we have to stop. Wait, okay. Okay, Jason, I'm going to ask you to pass me that cupcake, but I don't want you to give it to me, all right? Okay. Can you pass me that cupcake? Here you go. Pass me the chips. Yeah, here. Thanks. See, this is the problem, Jason. What is? It's us. This fat curse is... is... Oops. Excuse me. I was going to say, I think the only way to break the, f the fat curse is by never seeing each other again. Okay, fine. Then we won't eat. We'll just sit. No, Jason, we won't. <sighs> Jason, I'm going to leave you. No, Brenda, no. We have to leave each other. No, Brenda, we only have each other and food. Jason, we have to leave each other. We can't do this anymore. <sighs> I love you. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, my sweet fat prince. I'll leave the chips. Okay.
Uh, hey, Mom, is it okay if I go hang out with Melissa at the pizza arcade tonight? Which arcade? Donald Von Cheesington's. Mmm, great pizza. Oof. Yeah, great place. Great place. Yeah. Were you still not hanging out with Jason? No, actually, I'm not, no. But we had a pretty unhealthy relationship. And then look at me, I'm back to normal. Brendan, won't it be tempting to break your diet at Donald Von Cheesington's? I, I've developed a lot of self-control over the last few weeks, so I, I think I'll be okay. Oh, no, here comes okay. an employee. Uh -oh. Quick, get off, get what? off. Go hide in the ladies' room. Mom! No! Brendan, I mean, who are you? Hi, you. Hey, you better go in the ladies' room and look for your mom, little kid. Tonight's the night, Lynch. And before the ladies get here, all right, we gotta get a couple things straight. Mm-hmm, yeah. First of all, even though this technically isn't a real date, but a group outing, we still have to be on our toes, all right? Uh, yeah, okay. And we... That means I have to come across looking good, and so do you, because I brought you along, all right? That means don't embarrass me. That means we have to be nice to each other. We have to be nice to each other. In front of the ladies. In front of the ladies. Yeah, and that means no tricks, Lynch. What do you mean? Look, I know you got a thing for the nurse. I'm not stupid. Mm -hmm. She's yeah. my date tonight. Even though this is not a date. Right, even though this is not a date. Look, there's our not dates right now. Right. Say something nice to me. <laughs> Just practice. Um, you, you look good. Say my hair looks good. All right, your hair looks good. Well, would you change your hair? It looks nice. No, I didn't. I like it a No, I mean, say that to me. Oh. Look, oh, what did you change your hair? It looks nice. Hi! I need to refill this prescription. It's for my anxiety disorder, and uh, it's working nicely, because uh, I wouldn't have been able to approach you otherwise. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, let me ask you something. You're kind of like a doctor, right? Ah, uh, yeah, kind of. Do you have a, a drug that makes it so that I'm not made to feel inferior and really crappy by good-looking people who are in way better shape than me? Uh, the liquor store is across the street. All right? Thanks. Mm-hmm. You look good, Brendan. Really? Yeah. Well, thank you. I mean, I'll, you know, all I have to do to stay this way is to deprive myself of anything that I enjoy. Well, good for you, because whatever you're doing, it's working. Well, thank you very much. Hey, you know, Thanks. who knows? Maybe one of these days we can even get back to making movies. You know, with Jason. Huh? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, like, uh, maybe. Hey, let's turn in these tickets for some stupid crap at the counter. Okay. What should we get? We could get that plastic lizard. And, uh, how about those really big sunglasses? The comb, Brendan. We should definitely get that really big comb. Let me see. How about, uh... How about a yo-yo? Jason. Brendan. This place doesn't actually look so bad. I saw coming in that they're having a poetry thing later on. Yeah, yeah, me and Lynch picked it out. Right, buddy? Uh, yeah, yeah, M McGurk was easy to work with when it came to finding a place. We really get along rather well. <laughs> That's right, we always do, buddy. Hey, you look nice tonight. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Is that a new outfit? Uh, well, I got it a few months ago. Well, you look good. You, you look very um, <laughs> uh, enchanté, as they say. Lynch, <laughs> you should find out what yours is named. Mine? Yeah, the girl. Your girl. His girl? The girl, right there. Hi. Who can hear everything you're saying? Yes, uh, it's a little awkward. Um, and what did you say your name was again? It's Ruth. Right. And do you work at the school? Uh, yeah. Well, don't really. interrogate her, Lynch. I... All right? Uh, you said that... Don't you be polite. I'm sorry. My friend is so, uh, you know. Mm -hmm. He's my friend, though, and, uh, I really do enjoy his company. Yeah, yeah. Yes, so what do you do? Yes. What do you do? I'll take this. What do you do? I'm a temp. That's gotta suck. It's all right. Yeah, well, Did you see the thing in the Times today? Oh, yeah. What a discovery, huh? Oh, the NASA uh, article? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Did you believe that? I know. I know. I think it's absolutely fascinating. F yeah, it was. <laughs> that guy is a genius. Very smart. I know. And how old He's is young. he? He's young. I He's think like only 25. Only... Right. I was really younger, I thought. What? what? Yeah, maybe it was 25. I heard. Oh. Did you, <laughs> did you read it, McGurk? Yeah, yeah. I mean... <laughs> I can't even believe that he was 25 when he did that. Hmm. I'll tell you, when I was 25, I wasn't working for NASA. You know? Right. You... Well, I mean, pal, I had a tough childhood, I'll tell you that. You know? I mean, my dad was fat. I mean, you two don't know what I'm talking about, but I think you know what I'm talking about. Right? Right. NASA. I didn't know you were going to be at a tunnel on Cheesing uh, you know, I haven't been coming to Donald Von Cheesington's until I was sure I was in control of my eating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. You look great, by the way. Well, thank you. You too. Jeez, I almost didn't recognize you. <laughs> Thanks, I yeah. guess. <laughs> hey, look, there's that um person I know over there. I'm, I'm going to go talk to them for a while. You two should catch up. Yeah, we should. Bye. Bye. Great. Okay. 
Wow. Oh, hold on, Brendan. It's time for me to eat again. I'm on the zone of power workout. Oh, you, I, I read about that. Is it? How's that working out for you? Well, it's like a sweet look. <laughs> it's working out just fine. Hey, you want to try one of these? Uh, you know, I shouldn't. I'm just trying to watch my carb intake. Oh, know? Brendan, read the back. It's no carbs. Oh. Mmm, these are good. Yeah. Here, have another one. No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Brendan, it's okay. No, no thanks. So, what should I get with these tickets? <laughs> I don't know. Boy, look at all that junk food that Man. people are getting with their tickets. So sad. Hey. <laughs> hey, let's get some. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right, let's get some. Yeah. yeah, let's get it and eat it all in, in like one sitting like, you know, we used to. <laughs> yeah, all right, Let, let's gorge ourselves until we get really sick. <laughs> yeah. And then let's get more and eat it until we can't walk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> let's turn in all our tickets and just get junk food and then shove it in our face yeah. as fast as we can. <laughs> Brendan, let's do it. Yeah, let's do that right now. Yeah, yeah. Brendan, I'm serious. Let's yeah, do it. I know. Let's, let's totally do it. I'm not kidding. Let's do it. Okay. What do you think you're doing? Uh, washing my hands? No, out there at the table. What was that crap? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, the New York Times, NASA stuff. Just making conversation, McGurk. Oh, just, just making conversation. Yeah, I was just More talking, like trying to yeah. make me look dumb with your dumb smart crap. Look, look, it's not my fault that you don't keep up with current events, McGurk. Hey, <laughs> Lynch. What? First of all, yes, I don't. That doesn't make me bad. Second of all, we had a plan, all right? And that plan was to make each other look good in front of the girls. That was our right, plan. Right, right, and get along. There wasn't anything in the plan that mentioned that you I couldn't talk You deviated from the plan, Lynch, all right? So you're on your own now. Good. Hello, how are you? Oh. All right. So you're on your own now. I hope oh, you're that's happy. fine. Right, go join NASA. I walk down, down the street, uh-huh, hands in my pockets. <laughs> Hello, neighbor. Yeah. I have a poem, all right? Hello. I have a poem. Hello. This was one I call Lynch's mustache. Lynch's mustache looks stupid. What a dumb idiot to have a mustache like that. Why don't you go wax your ass? Give me that mic. Here's a haiku. All right. There once was a man named McGurk who was fat and dumb and a jerk. Boo. Boo, that sucked. Ruth, it was nice to meet you. I'm going to get out of here. Very nice, guys. See you at work. You're Wait a minute. Very Don't leave. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Here, this hold one. Up. No, 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 no. I got one. McGurk, got... has a... There's a poem I call New York Times. New York Times? New York Times? You think you're better than us? 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 USA? No way. The end. You're an idiot. That's great. Could you put the seatbelt on, please? I don't think it's going to fit, but try that. Put it on. OK, here's one. Lynch had no chance with the nurse. Uh, she had a nice purse. Oh, boy, that is the worst. But, uh, hey. Go. Oh, OK. Um. McGurk uh, ruined everything for the evening because he started... It's not a poem, Lynch. Yes, it is. A poem is anything that is an expression of something else. Okay. Watch out for that pole. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> Guys, what are you doing? Get out of here. We're having a meeting. You guys, you broke your diets. I know, I know. We're terrible. No, you're not. You're not terrible. Oh, yeah, Melissa? Really? Really? Jason? Melissa? Jason? Why are you acting so weird? You knew this would happen, didn't you? What are you talking about, Melissa? She knows damn well what I'm talking about, don't you, Melissa? What does he mean? Well, why don't you tell Brendan? Brendan, I I set up this chance meeting. I set it up with Jason a week ago. Ha! I knew he would be here, Brendan. Ha! And, and I knew that you guys were fat enablers. Ha! But I wanted you to see each other. What? I just couldn't stand the separation anymore. Uh. The movies, Brendan. We haven't been making movies. I feel like it's all my fault. I was the one who showed you how fat you were. You were pretty fat, Brendan. I know. How fat both of you were. Well, I mean, I was sort of fat to begin with. Brendan really got fat. 
But you got us together knowing that we would make each other eat, Melissa. It was a chance I was willing to take, and I hoped you wouldn't. You were both doing so well. She wanted us fat, no. Brendan. She wanted us fat! No, I don't. I don't want you fat. I just want us together. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I just want to make movies. I feel a pinch coming off. Sure is hot, huh? Hot. Hot and fat. When are we going to get off this farm, this terrible, terrible fat farm? I know when. Never. Wow, it's our best work yet, Brenda. I know. Guys, that was great. I know. I, I, think, I think we might be geniuses. Definitely geniuses. You guys did something that only the finest actors have ever done. You put on a lot of weight for a role. Um, thanks. All right, Sumo Wrestler movie, take one. Arr. <laughs> <laughs> And now uh, my fat dinner with uh, what's his face? Andre. Take one. I don't know how to tell you boys this, but you're both pregnant. We are. Oh, no. Fat Gandhi, take two. The first rule of Fat Club is that you don't talk about the first rule of Fat Club. Second rule of Fat Club is. Uh, so what are you guys in for? F free breakfast. I'm gonna free you, fat whale. Three fat men and a fat baby. I want my mommy. Do 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 do. Gonna read, read, read and serenade Love bats, but I won't go in a cave Gonna think, think, think and sleep for days Baby cakes, baby cakes Hey, baby Hey, what's up? Nothing much Just wanted to talk to the most beautiful girl in the world, that's all That's sweet That's true Yeah, yeah It's just uh, nice to know that I'm the only man in your world I am the only man in your world, right? Maybe? Switch to singular with the fewest dropped calls. Maybe is it, is it Earl? Plus, buy an ultra thin Samsung camera phone for only $19.99. Singular is now the new ATT. Your world delivered. Morning movies. Morning. You've all been picked. You're all heading out. Netflix users have made a list of the DVDs they want to see. They'll receive their movies, it's you guys, in about one business day. Now, with never a late fee, they can keep you as long as they like. And as soon as they send one of you back in this prepaid envelope, we'll automatically send another from their list. So let's move it, people. You too, romantic comedy. Netflix. Start your free trial. Now, plans from only $4.99. I swear they ring that stupid bell in the tower like every seven minutes. Bong! Bong!
Bong! All those false alarms. One day there's going to be a real Indian attack and no one's going to pay attention. What's that with your books, Joe? It's a fraternity paddle. Wow. Cool. Outstanding. Then the Indians will drive us from our native land. And then where will we live? The ocean? Yes, probably. Just like the Germans. Not to be rude, Sanford, but could you put a cork in your talkie hole while we get to know Joe's paddle? So, does this frat have indoor plumbing? It's an academic fraternity. It's not an actual house. You don't have to beat around the bush. Ain't no shame to living in a trailer. Well, fraternities are for tools. <clears throat> hey, Sanford, isn't that your sister? She doesn't eat in this cafeteria. Your ID? This is just a beer label. Wait a second. You're not a freshman. Hey! Somebody stop that guy! Ow! It's hot! Ow! 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 Ow. <gasps> Dear God, look at her! I know. I can't wait to be an upperclassman. I must warn you, I've seen Karate Kid six times. Prepare to be waxed off. Looks like Tuesday's lunch is here. Look at Joe over there, dancing around, swinging his paddle in the air, thinking he's all Mr. Fraternity or something. I think Cindy left her shoe. Yep, it's a shoe. I can't believe your sister lives way out here. I've never been off campus before. Hey! Somebody dropped their couch! Wow. Dude, we gotta grab this on the way home. It's kinda damp, and it smells like dog pee. Not dog. It's cat. And he's not well. Your sister lives in her own house? Yeah, it's like she's an adult or something. <laughs> yeah, I think she wants her bottle. You left your shoe in the cafeteria yesterday. Hey, you guys gotta steal us a bunch of toilet paper from the dorm. Why? You mean, girls go to the bathroom? They pee out of their butts! But that's where babies come out. Hey, that dude's sitting on our couch. What are you looking at? Are you guys a fraternity? A fraternity? Uh, yeah, sure. We're a fraternity. Wanna join? Is this even a good house? Looks like a dump. What do we have to do? Well, for starters, run uptown and get me some smokes. Is that frat code for streak the campus with a grape stuck up my ass? No, it means go buy me some cigarettes. With a grape up my ass? Whatever. Just get menthol. You can count on us, brother. That'll be 385. Do you have any money? I spent my last 12 bucks on this hat. I bet you nobody has a hat like this. Well, except the people that go there. All I've got is this check from my parents, but I'm supposed to use it for books. If I did everything my parents told me, I would have taken my insulin this morning. Screw you two! Now remember, we gotta be cool about this, so let me do the talking. What up, Home Slice? What did you call me? Home Slice. 
It's a cool street name, like Poop Dog or P. Diddle or Gary. Just give me my smokes. And here's the change. $96.15. You should probably use it to buy books. So, what fraternity is this? Fraternity? Oh, yeah. Um, Tri Delta Burke. Tri Delta Burke. Wow. That's like the coolest name ever. Well, except for Cooley McCool, the Emperor of Cool Town. Wow, a fraternity. Well, Shazam! There's no Burke in the Greek alphabet. Well, that's because it's a fraternity. It has nothing to do with the Greek alphabet. A uh, duh! A uh, doy now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go polish my paddle. <laughs> oh, real mature. I just mean I need to wax the wood. <laughs> All right, for your next assignment... So what about parties, Brother Bryce? Do you guys have a lot of parties? Do a lot of girls hang out up at this house? I bet a lot of girls hang out at this house, do they? Uh, what do you think? Awesome! All right, your next assignment is to clean up all this junk on the lawn. You mean, like, the house? <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you don't want to be Deltas, that's fine. Now quit wasting my time. I gotta go sit over there. No, dude, we're totally into it. I asked if they had a lot of fraternity parties, and they said, what do you think? It was like, what do you think, meaning, yes, we certainly do have more than our share of parties, implying there were a lot of chicks. It was like, don't even give it a second thought, dude. It was like, what do you think? What do I think about what? If you're not going to pay attention to what I'm saying, how can you expect me to pay attention? Uh, have any of you seen Charlie, one of my elf figurines? I'm willing to pay five dollars to whoever took him. Hey, Todd, how come you ain't in the frat house? A fraternity? Oh, uh, I don't know. I went through rush, but things just didn't work out. Do you have perhaps a pamphlet on this fraternity that I can take home and review with my grandparents? Then, for no reason whatsoever, this big gorilla, Shader, threw me in a filthy pit. He fed me birdseed from a bucket. I missed all my classes and failed several important quizzes before the police finally found me. You're safe now, old man. Ah! Whatever you do, don't go to the Sigma Phi house. This guy, Shainer, he's the biggest psycho on campus. He got kicked off the wrestling team for biting a guy's nipple off. Outstanding. Cool. I'm gonna be like the Shainer of our fraternity. No, I'm gonna be the Shainer of our fraternity. No, me! No! Uh, oh well, it's only a figurine. This time you've gone too far, God! I'm coming after you! I will kick your ass! Ow! Sorry. Being in a fraternity is gonna be great. When we get our paddles, it's gonna be the second greatest thing I own. What's the first? Shh. I just said that so I don't upset C-O-N-E-Y. Wow. Your dog seems to poop an awful lot. We don't have a dog. What? Whoa, that was cool! My smokes went down there! Don't worry, I can get them for you. I got it! Tried out the Burke house. I must have the wrong house. I was looking for Bryce. Yeah, Bryce is a Delta. No, Bryce is definitely not in a fraternity. He hates fraternities. Oh, you think you know Bryce, huh? Well, what's his first name? Bryce. And where does he live? Right here. Fine. You win this round, Bryce. Hey, he's just joking with you. 
Here, why don't you go memorize this pledge book? There sure are a lot of brothers in this house. Callahan, Callister, Captain Tony's Pizzeria. Wow, we have a pirate in our fraternity. Doesn't this seem a little weird to you? What do you mean? Well, for one thing, we've never even seen this pirate guy at the house. Dude, they're nocturnal. Say, I missed you fellas in class today. But don't worry, I got you covered. I photocopied all my notes. Just keep this in mind when I come through Rush. But if that's not enough, I also got a strong recommendation from my old friend, Mr. Lincoln. Oh, damn it, stop hammering. Sure, okay. You like to party, don't you, Brother McAdams? I can just tell. Someday I'll be telling my grandchildren about you. And then there was Brother McAdams. Now he was the original wild man. <laughs> One time he stole the Dean's horse and drove it on the back of his motorcycle down Main Street. This was back in Aught 3, before the Cyber Monkey Wars. But I'm going on and on and you're trying to sleep. Go to sleep, my sweet little angel. Rest your head on the pillow. Drift away to a magical land and dream of cake. You know, that'd go faster with a roller. Do you have one? Nope. Don't believe in him. I don't care how much he cleans. That fat kid has got to go. But he's building us a hot tub on the roof. You'll be enjoying this hot tub in no time. And by that I mean, at no time will you be enjoying this hot tub. Uh, our national called and said we can only take one pledge this uh, season. You're kicked out of the fraternity. But you can't! Hey, my hands are tied. It was that pirate, wasn't it? He's hated me since day one. Pirates make me so mad. Arr! Fine. We don't need this house. There are plenty of other fraternities in the sea. We're out of here. Let's go, matey. Adele, we want you to stay. Uh, here's your fraternity paddle. Congratulations. Wow, thanks. Rubber Maid? Is that my nickname? Uh, sure. There must be some mistake. How could they take Dell and not me? I'm clearly the cooler one. I should have worn this hat more. Drink that, you wuss! Drink! 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 <laughs> Carry on. Sigma Phi. That looks like a fraternity. A sweet fraternity. Oh my god, he is unconscious! On Shaner's car! Shaner is gonna be pissed! Shaner! This guy, Shaner, he's a monster! He's the biggest psycho on campus! But I would like to kiss him because I'm like a big woman! Hey, don't make me say that! <laughs> Too late! <laughs> no running! I should have gotten that paddle. He's clearly not a rubber maid. I'm a rubber maid. Hey, um, you want to go to the cafeteria for dinner? Uh, I'm kind of busy. I'm expecting some important calls from other houses that want me pretty bad and are fighting over me. But it's 70's theme night. They're serving biscuits and groovy. Oh, all right. Hey, Dale, I heard you made the cut at the frat and said for didn't. You want a sip of my soda pop? Or is this my spit can? I can't remember. It was Sody Pop. Ed's Mortuary. You kill him, we chill him. That's just a sample of the wit and humor you'll get from Brother Ed Bickle. Bryce, that's a turkey's name. Hello? The basement's flooded. 
They need someone to swim down and reset the circuit breaker. But what about dinner? Sorry. I got you into that fraternity, you know. I made you, Rubbermaid. Dell thinks he's so cool now. Like that hotshot movie star with the perfect hair. What's his name? Carrot Top. What a knob. The same thing happened to me when some guy took my spot on the baseball team. But I got him back when I told him our first game was against Alaska. When he drove up there for the game, they had to let me back on the squad. Really? Hey, that gives me an idea. <laughs> okay, now stop giggling so I can tell it to you. Hello? Hello, Dell. This is Bryce from your stupid fraternity. <laughs> uh, I've got another assignment for you. Go to the Sigma Phi house and bring me the eyebrow of Randy Shaner. Shaner? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me try. Hey, this is also Bryce. Don't screw it up. And bring back popsicles. Okay. <laughs> oh, mercy, the laughing part of my belly is hurting something fierce. Ed, whatever happened to that guy you sent up to Alaska? Not much. He was mauled by a grizzly, so I married his wife. But then I had it annulled because I found out she'd been married before. Hey, Todd. That Shaner guy isn't really so bad, is he? Oh, he's a monster. More animal than man. There's not a day that goes by that I don't beg God to return my nipple. It's because of that that I can't get a girlfriend. Oh, God. What have I done? Where are you going? To the Sigma Phi house to save my friend. Sigma Phi? Oh no, don't do it. He's gone, man. Let him go. You'll make new friends. Maybe me, for instance. Do you like Hanson? Buddy, you gotta learn to play hard to get. No running! Why doesn't anybody listen to me? I'm only the dean of the school, for God's sake. Shut up! You shut up! Sanford? Could you deliver this eyebrow to Bryce for me? That's not good. Well, could you get me some glue? Here, I'll get you down. Ow! That hurts. I'll try something else. I'm gonna have to go in. I wouldn't if I was you. Hey, where's that fat ass going? Oh my god, he's in the sound effects room! He's out, get him! Ow, 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 ow! Hey, look over there! Someone who needs to be pummeled because they're different! He's going in Shaner's room! What are you doing? I'm saving you, you douchebag! Shaner? Shaner, you've pumped it too many times. It'll break the skin. Dang! Where the hell those dudes go? We've been bullied by this guy long enough! Ramming speed! I'll show myself to the pit. I've decided joining a fraternity is more trouble than it's worth. Yeah, but at least now I know how to build a hot tub. And I know how to get dog crap out of the carpet. See? And you wanted to spend that check from your parents on books. Yeah, that was pretty stupid, huh? That's okay. That's what we're here for. 
to learn. On the next three south. I have this penny, but I'm going to put it on the train tracks. Then I'll sell it for two pennies. Then I'll just repeat the process until I have more money than Jesus. Ah, Jesus. You think you're such a fat cat. You're going down. Dermatologist recommended Panoxyl Bar Acne Wash. Panoxyl Bar Acne Wash is a treatment that works in the U.S. Army Reserve. There's strong, and then there's Army strong. Find out more about the Army Reserve at GoArmyReserve.com. This is all love. Trojan, pleasure you want, protection you trust. At Gamefly, our passion for gaming has led us to rent games differently. We think different is better. Choose from thousands of the latest and classic video games delivered right to your door. Keep them as long as you want with no late fees. Then send them back in our prepaid envelope. People think we're crazy to rent games for as low as $8.95 for the first month. We think we're visionaries. Our vision? Make renting easier. Different? Maybe. Smarter? We think so. Go to Gamefly.com and start renting differently. A new low starting price. Cards and rated through M. Between my two phone bills, it's probably about $60 a month. About $150. Probably 100 bucks a month. With Vonage, you get unlimited calls to anywhere in the U.S. and Canada, and all the cool features you could ever want are included. It's just $24.99 a month for unlimited local and long-distance calling, including free calls to Canada and Europe. Call 1-800-939-4-VON and get one month free. Vonage, a better way to phone for less. Hello. I've been asked to sell you the following. Superdeluxe.com I woke up this morning on the wrong side of the bed. Mm -hmm. You know, I had a fitful night's sleep. Yeah. And, uh, you know, because I was thinking about, you know, today, you know, what I was going to do. Yeah. And then that uh, led me to think, like, oh, what am I going to do uh, tomorrow? You're thinking about your life, aren't you? No. Just this week. Just this week. Yeah. <sighs> but then I'm thinking, well, I really don't have anything to do today, mm -hmm. you know? Right. And then I started, you know, hearing your voice in the back of my head saying, you know, uh, find something to do today or tomorrow. I just hate to see you pissing your life away. Well, you don't have to put it like One that, Dad. Just, I just want you to embrace life, to go... I do embrace life, Dad, I do. I, it's, yeah. You know what I live? The contemplative life. Do you know what I'm saying? It means I'm a thinker. Yeah. I, and I'm an embracer, and I'm a thinker. Yeah. I'm not necessarily a doer. There are too many doers out there, and not enough thinkers. Ow! Oh, God. What did you do? I cut my tongue. On what? The cereal. You know, I have How can a you cut your tongue on frosted flakes? Well, I have a tendency to put too much in my mouth at once. Yeah. And then some of the flakes can cut. Let me look at that. That's not a big cut. I just apply some milk. Yeah. Great. Great. <laughs> So I'm going to... I should be back in about 10 minutes. I'm just going to pick up a piece of fruit, something. Okay. Some kind of little 
burst of energy. Okay. Glad to pick you up something, some some kind of high in potassium, low in calorie, God's mm. own snack, if you'd like. I wouldn't mind a soda. Or a peach? No. Or some kind of fruit? No. I mean, I'll, I'll get you whatever you want, but I just that this, I'd rather not contribute to your soda habit. I don't want to be your enabler. You know what I'm saying? There's Forget a, it. You know what? Forget it. I don't want anything. A pear? No. I do, don't want it. Do you ever have beet juice? <sighs> You ever have just the juice from the can of spinach? Well, I just, uh, I'm really having a rough week, I guess. Mm -hmm. I can't seem to be a part of anything, it seems like. I see a lot of terrorism on TV lately, you know, and there's uh, hate groups and militias and everything, and I, I can't uh, get in any of them, it seems like. I'm, uh, I'm on a softball team. But mm -hmm. it's not the same thing, you know. It's not as fanatical. We don't even want to win at softball that bad. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was, I've just brought a list of street gangs who rejected my applications in the last few weeks. Um, the Crips said they didn't want me. The Bloods, I don't know. They're, they said they're going in a different direction. Um, born to Kill. Vietnamese uh, New York street gang. Right. They just uh, didn't answer my phone calls. The Latin Kings said no. The Insane Popes just, I don't know. I, I guess I'm not good enough. Um, <laughs> Thin Lizzy said uh, we are not a gang. We're a rock band and our leader is dead. And uh, the Chicago Blackhawks, again, another excuse, uh, you know, said they were a hockey team, not a gang. And I got one of those books on tape, you know? Mm hmm. Because uh, I had to take this long drive. Mm -hmm. Those books on tape are a ripoff. They're really, really boring. I had uh, Where's Waldo? Yeah. And it was just this guy going, you know, guy delivering mail, guy selling hot dogs, two kids with a ball, Waldo, woman with a shopping cart, dog. Don't get them. What do you think about this, though, Dad? What do you think if uh, if I told you that I had a an itching to drive the big rigs? Hmm? Would that bug you at all? You're talking about driving a tractor trailer? Well, you know, I saw a commercial last night, and I'll, I'll tell you, to be honest with you, yeah. those guys looked happy, well-fed, and satisfied with their lives. Do you think you could handle driving uh, an 18-wheeler cross-country? Well, I mean, that's, the, uh, that's why you go to the school. You learn how to drive long distances. Yeah, on... but what they don't teach you is how to control your bladder. But you go in the back behind the seat in a jar. Uh, what about something else? Like, um, for instance, uh, logging? Does that strike a chord with you? No. That's a pun. What about bartending college, Dad? What about that? Well, actually, you know, that, of all the ideas you've suggested, yeah. is the third. That's true. I have to say that. Hey, do you remember when I used to put on a pair of your pants... Then I'd pull them up over my head, and I used to run around the house and bump into everything, knock stuff over. Yeah, I remember, Ben. Yeah. Is there a job for that? Hey, Laura, guess what this is? A bowl of fruit. That's right, and guess who it's for? For me? It's for you, it's for me, it's for my patients. It's, uh... It's the new way around here. Uh, I just need to find a spot to put it, because I'm not going to stand here all day. So what do you think? Should I put it... Uh, is is your desk a good spot? No. Okay. Is the... I want to put it somewhere where people will see it and where people will take advantage of it. Why, don't, I, why they, don't you put it in your office? I know, because I don't want people bringing fruit in my office. This is... A, it would be messy. Oh. But it's okay to have it out here. This is a waiting area, which is designed... It's a waiting area. It's not a, a cafeteria. Hey, why don't you sh... Whoa! Mm. Now, what's your name, hot mama? Laura. <laughs> My name's Emo. So, how do you like being a secretary? I'm an administrative assistant. Do you like riddles, Laura? No. How do you stop, wait, how do you stop an elephant from charging? Take away his credit card. Very good. 
so Ima, let me let me let me ask you this. You say that even within the city, you still you still are able to find some little haven. Oa- haven. That's Oasis. the word. Oasis. A haven. Mm. I go to the park. You know, I like to uh, just to re- to relax. Yeah, yeah. Have fun. You know. Uh-huh. Rip out nose hairs. <laughs> oh, those sleeping winos hate that. Yeah. Plus, uh, I like to go to the zoo. What What is it about the zoo that you like? Oh boy, probably. Um, well, it's a tough one. <laughs> I'd have to say um, the animals. <clears throat> so How you, about you? I I did say the animals. Oh. <laughs> Give me five. Okay. Can can we do that on your way out? Hmm. Listen, I, I have a, just a quick question for you. Okay. Where'd you learn how to type? Uh, I just kind of picked it up in the streets. How how fast do you type? How many um, WPM? Uh, hmm? I don't know, actually. Because I'm saying I, I have to base uh, how many words per minute I have to type by, you know, someone like you, a professional. Well, I don't know. Ten? Sure. Yep. Wow, that that's, seems pretty easy. Yeah. Oh, yep. Um, you know, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but could you just type a little for me? You put, you know, so I can hear your rhythm. Yeah. Maybe if you put the phone down, you know, right next to the keyboard, uh, I I could listen to the the way you type, and that would uh, titillate me. That's disgusting. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna count the seconds in my head. So, uh, ready? Laura. What's that echo? Am I in the basket again? Doctor, I seem caring, don't I? You do. You seem like a very caring person. I am, you know. The other day I saw this man going through our garbage looking for food. And, uh, you know, Doctor, I hate to see another human being going through someone's garbage can looking for food. So I made him a really nice raccoon costume. Does he wear it? No. You know, you you can't help these people. Oh, emo, emo, emo. I'm the one in the middle, you drunken... I, uh... Oh, oh, my brother says hello. (laughs) So, hooray for speech therapy. Ben, what happened here? Hey, Dad. What happened to saying hi? Hi, Ben. What what happened? Well, I think I found my calling. What are you doing here? I'm decorating a cake. Well, what is this for? Well, I bought a book on how to become a cake decorator. Take a look at this uh, this one I just built, Dad. It's a triple layer, all icing. So what is inside the icing? Is it just going to implode? Is it? What's oh, your it's... favorite part of cake, Dad? The icing. Uh huh. So you sort of avoiding the middleman. This is a triple layer, sharply cut, as we call it. Mm-hmm. Hexagonal pattern on the middle rung mm-hmm. with a floor de lis pattern on top. Well, uh, you know, I'm flabbergasted, really. Do you know what floor de lis means? Do you know what flabbergasted means? <laughs> no. <laughs> We're even. Why don't you make your, um, mm-hmm. as long as you're making cakes, why don't you make the, a Mother's Day cake for, for your mom and send it to her? I bet she would love that. When's Mother's Day? In about a year. <laughs> No, Mother's Day is in, in, is in three weeks. I didn't get your Father's Day gift. I know, but, you know, you are my Father's Day gift. Dad. Come here. No. <laughs> not with all this icing on me. Yeah. They look a lot better in the book than, than the one I made. You're sort of competing against yourself within, within the design. Right. You know those I mean? are ionic columns. Yeah. I actually call this one the Parthenon. You know, it's like a... Uh, are you lisping again? No, it's a Greek motif. That's what, kind of what I wanted to concentrate on. That's the way it ended up. Yeah. How about a nice cold brew? <laughs> oh, Dad. I mean, cake schmake. <laughs> hey, Laura. Notice anything different about me? Mm, no. I've gained 30 pounds. I was going to say that, but I thought it would be rude. Yeah, no, I mean, obviously you notice that I'm wearing, uh, that I'm wearing roller skates. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you like the outfit? No. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Actually, I'm just, I'm learning how to roller skate for exercise. I know it's, you know. Right. 
So that's why I that's why I'm wearing these. And, and I'll tell you something, it's great exercise. I didn't skate over here. I took a cab. Mm -hmm. But um, I skated around in the hall a little bit, and I'm going to make my way over to the desk. If you give me about five minutes. Oh, no. I'm just going to inch my way over. Okay? Uh, is there anything that I can do for you? Sure. You can hold your hands out and just give me no, a good target to I go mean... for. That way I can get over there. So just hold your hands out, and I'll, I'll let go of the doorpost here. This Don't is... let go of it. I only fell twice in the elevator. Really? Yeah. Good. I think I did some damage to about two or three people holding. I ripped a guy's shirt on my way down. So uh, I, I joined a gym yeah. uh, recently, and I'll be honest with you. This is the third gym I joined. I actually I actually joined a gym once, and that was the last day I went. Right. Yeah, I woke up the other morning. I just looked at myself in the mirror, and I was disgusted. I was talking to myself in the mirror. I was like, look at you. What is You have never been in shape. What is your problem? How do you go on living is what I'm saying to myself. So I walked into that gym. I was starry-eyed. I was like, do you have a lifetime membership? How much would that be? No, a lifetime membership. You don't give those out. How much would it be if you did give them out? Really, that much? Was there? Do you have a trial thing? Is there something I could just do today? You know. So I've been going. I've been going to the gym, and I will be honest with you. For 15 years of my life, I smoked. I drank. I used to do drugs. I used to eat lard right out of a can occasionally. You know. But don't judge me. We, you know, I'm we've not, all been there. I'm not judging you, Mark. But during that time, I never once thought that I was going to die. All right. But the second I set foot mm -hmm. on a stairmaster, the second. I'm sure my heart is going to explode and blood is going to spray out of my nose. All right. And there is no glory in going down on a piece of gym equipment. Do you understand? Imagine the humility of that death. I mean, I'd rather die of a degenerative disease than to be on my third deluded day at the gym going, uh, 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 you know, and, and you, your face just smacks down on that control panel, you know, and you're hanging there. Going, uh. I think the ironic thing about that particular demise is, you know, the guy in the Stairmaster next to you would not stop his workout to help you up. He'd just be like, oh no, we got a problem in here. Hey, somebody get in here. We got a problem. No, I can't stop. I just got started on this machine. Yeah, this guy's in trouble. Yeah, what a waste of a guest pass, huh? So is there a reason why you're here? Well, I just uh, came to show off uh, the new skates and, uh, you know, see how you're doing. Mm. So uh, you want to you see a couple moves or? Not really. I can do, no. a, I can do a full turn <sighs> and uh, I can hold one leg up. I went out a couple weeks ago and bought a CD by a band I don't even like. So I had to ask myself, Mark, what, what's going on here? You know what I mean? And, and I figured out what happens is if you watch MTV or you listen to the radio, you keep getting hit in the head with the same song over and over again till one day you just snap and go, must have coolio. You know what I mean? So I, you know, I, I decided to fight against this corporate occupation of my mental processes. I went and returned the CD and I got a CD of traditional Indian music, okay, huh. from India. Interesting. Yeah, go ahead. Laugh, do whatever you want, judge me. But let me tell you something. There's a song on there, 59 minutes long. That's value, okay? I'm telling you, it's 20 minutes before the drums kick in. But if you're really listening, they couldn't come in a second sooner. And I was trying to convince this friend of mine that this was the best music ever, all right? And we've been listening to it like 19 minutes. And he said, this sucks. And I said, wait. And those drums came rolling in, tick, tick, tick. Tee. And he's like, hey. I stand corrected. Hey, I'm sorry, Laura. I, have, I really haven't, I haven't been keeping up my end of the bargain with f refreshing the fruit. I've noticed. Yeah. And, you know, by the way, if you, if you at some point want to take over that responsibility, you're welcome to it because... Can I just get rid of it? Well, I would suggest that you... Well, there's still some good, good stuff in there. Can I just get rid of it? After today, you can throw it out if you like, and then we'll refresh it tomorrow. I, it's, it's the flies, really, that bother me now. Smell doesn't bother you? But, no, no, Stanley, Julie, you, this, you, know, you know how obsessive I get with things. Yeah. Well, about a, about a week ago, I thought that I had a new plan for life. Uh-huh. And that all of my problems could be connected for, to my diet and that I wasn't eating enough fruit. Oh, yeah. You know, the, the sad part is that I, I didn't really give it a fair shake, you know? Oh. Uh -huh. I went from the fresh fruit to uh, cough drops, no, cherry-flavored no, cough no. drops to... Sometimes you know, they say fruit is really uh, high fructose corn syrup. What? I, I just like saying fructose, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> high I, fructose. I bet you do. High fruct fructose. I don't, think that's, I don't think that's how you say it, though. Yeah, fructose. No, it's fructose. Is I, it really? I think so. I think you're just making that up. To, so that you You're saying fructose is fructose? 
No, not fruit toast. Fruit fruit Wait, toast. Do you say go fuck yourself? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> This week wore me out, you know, trying to follow your your career. Well, you know, I guess I, I, I've definitely learned a lesson uh, this week, Dad, yeah. you know, going through all these attempts to find my way into a, into a profession or a career, mm -hmm. and uh, that is uh, don't, you know? Well, you have to be a little, a little more realistic. Uh, yeah. There's no reason to be. It's just that it's, it's, it's much easier to ignore it. Can I give you a piece of advice? Yes. Be more realistic. Yeah. But hold on to your dreams. And let go of those chips for one second, please. <laughs> no, you you know, being a late bloomer you, you, is not a bad thing so necessarily because... I'm just holding out for a decent childhood and I'm not going to grow up until I get it. Yeah. Here's your decent childhood right here, pal. Yeah, I've seen that before. Yeah. yeah. I, we ha we did have some good times, but I do owe you... Uh, you, owe me, you owe me three or four years, three there, or four years that I lost. We can start well, you now. you didn't lose them. You were in pain. Yeah. But that's not lost time. Oh, okay. No, I. Your mother was the disciplinarian in the family. You know that. She she knew how to how to set limits. I remember, and maybe that's the problem. Maybe I, I'm you know after mom left. Uh, no more limits. No more limits. Anything goes. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Sky's the limit. I can't get enough of this. I don't have to do anything, do I ever, Dad? Not really. I think your metabolism has a lot to do with that. Yeah. yeah. I weigh about 140 pounds naked. <laughs> I mean, if that scale at the train station is anything to go by. My girlfriend said, Emo, I'm seeing another man. <laughs> I said, well, try rubbing your eyes or... <laughs> something. She said, no, this other guy, and he loves me, and he wants to marry me. <laughs> I said, well, sounds like he doesn't even know you. <laughs> and, <laughs> doctor. You know, I got into these computer games lately. Right. Because I, I got this computer, and I've been playing it, you know? Like a maniac. I, yeah. Computer games are dangerous, I think, because they, they do bring out the violence in you. And for me, I just don't like feeling that upset. I don't want to kill anybody. And when you go and I had this one video game that was like a dungeon. Mm -hmm. And when I was in, the, in this game, all I wanted was a button I could press where all these guards and goblins would just put down their guns and sit there and be mellow. And mm -hmm. then I could just walk through and say hi to them. Hey, you guys, what's going on? Not much. You guys garden the uh, blue key? Yeah, just garden it. Okay, well, oh, well, take care. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Keep going. All right. That would be fun for me instead of hurting. No more hurting. Uh, Dr. Katz, uh, here's something I want to talk about. Yeah. You know, I'm just thankful that there is no such thing as magic. Huh. And that people like David Copperfield and Doug Henning don't have any real powers because then we'd all have to work for them. What are you doing, man? Oh, I'm in David Copperfield's army. How about you? Mm, I'm working for Doug Henning right now. So what are you guys up to? Well, mostly we're just building statues to David and how great he is. Yeah, how's it going? Oh, it sucks. He's such a jerk. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's great. David's great. He's not a nerd. He's not a loser. Uh, doctor, I was at a wedding in Indiana yesterday, and my Uncle Joe talked to me for about 45 minutes, and there was... Uh, I didn't really get a chance to respond during it, so I was wondering if I could just take a second here and, and respond to him. Sure, I, I guess so. Okay, so... Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I don't care about your boat. I don't care. I don't care. Well, who's Chuck? Who's Chuck? You just started talking about Chuck, but you never told me who he was. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. God, I want to squeeze your nose. I'm sorry, Bob. You know what the music means. Our time is up.
My name is Tim Heidecker. Hey, I'm Eric Wareheim. I sit down when I pee. There's nothing that crazy about me. <laughs> well, my legs are long. Yes, my legs are long. And my legs are long. Yes, they're very, very long. Wow, Eric, can you... That's weird, but I'll call you back. His niece was murdered. We need to get away. Roach? I'm the first to get buck wild on March 2nd. We're off, baby! Oh, damn! Nothing can prepare you. Whoa! He's more afraid of you than you are of him. For a trip <laughs> like this. Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? What the hell? Wild hogs. I wanted to say something funny, but all I could think of was black jokes. Please do tell. Ready PG 13 special sneak preview this Saturday night. More flexibility. More possibility. More opportunity. Welcome to Business on Broadband from Verizon. It's everything you need to be more productive. Trojan. Pleasure you want. Protection you trust. Rated M for mature. What, you think it's a joke, is it? It ain't safe on the streets. These cops are crazy! Check it out! They threw a dumpster on my brother's head at his own birthday party and blew up his house. You get in jail, you stay here! What, you still think it's a game? Well, it is a game. And the game is not being no fault! Well, the battery's good, so I figure it's the alternator. So I go down to AutoZone, and the guy says, well, let's test it first. Might not be a problem. Turns out, it's just a bad cable. You know, with AutoZone, piece of cake. We're off now. We're flying. And there's no denying. We're driving. Track me down, pig! You some kind of Superman? Nah, baby, I'm just a brother with a badge. Now let her go. What do you care? She's just a two-bit hooker. The way I see it, she's a beautiful ebony princess trying to make ends meet. You're not gonna shoot me, Stroke. You ain't got the guts. I was born black and poor. All I got is guts. You did it again, Stroke. But how? It's like my mom always said. If a dog don't bark, maybe he ain't a dog. Right. You made the streets safe for us working, girl, Stroke. Speaking of work, I got a job for you. This one's on the house. I can dig it. I had to bust you both, but I won't. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The case of the missing hoe is the baddest Stroke adventure yet. Next up... The case of the missing hose missing pimp. What is it with you and this stroke, dude? Oh, if I could be anybody, Mike, it'd be Isaac Stroke. He's black, cool, and the ladies dig him. Yeah, and you're white, lactose intolerant, and a virgin. Now put the book down, Gary, and check this out. We are Razor Cat! Hey, Catheads! We're in the road! Click on the litter box for tour dates. Now it's too bad their final show's tomorrow night in Seattle. Perfect! Let's roll! We're in Miami, Mike. You have to be a total moron to try and make that drive. <laughs> Who's the total moron now, Gary? Uh, this whole trip wouldn't have anything to do with Beth, would it? I can't wait to see my sweet little drummer girl. The night we met was the hottest night of my life. 
Are those space pants you're wearing? Huh? Because your ass is out of this world. Yeah, but you guys had a really nasty breakup. Yeah, poor kid. A lot of tears. No kidding. <laughs> Still be friends. <laughs> yeah, I can picture her now. Wailing away at the skin. Sweat dripping off her sweet face. Those green burning eyes. <laughs> Let's really let herself go. Hola! We are Razor Cats! And we're gonna do this Mexican style! Oh my god! Gary! Mike! What are you guys doing here? I was gonna ask you the same question, Kurt. This music sucks, huh, Gary? Yeah, this stuff, what is this? This sucks. Well, we had to go in a different artistic direction with Beth quitting the band and whatnot. What? Haven't you heard? She's getting married. Are you serious? Yeah, man. We're playing the wedding this weekend in Miami. You guys should crash. Oh, we'd love to, but we just came from Miami. And we'd have to be total morons to drive all the way back. Mike, I gotta tell you, this is a bad idea. No, Gary, a bad idea is going 105 through this flamingo crossing zone. <laughs> Something tells me that you're not doing this to support Beth. Hey, Gary, I know Beth, okay? We went out for three and a half months, and she's always had bad taste in man. I just want to make sure she's not marrying a total loser. Welcome to our home on this wonderful occasion. If you look inside your complimentary gift bag, you will find a 35mm camera with a complete set of lenses so that you may capture for posterity this magical weekend. What'd I tell you? Loser! Excuse me, are those space pants you're wearing? Oh my god, what the hell are you doing here? I tried to stop them. Hey, can a guy congratulate you on your wedding? My darling, there you are. I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Enrique Garcia. I'm Mike. Mike Bonner. Beth and I used to sleep... Uh, late. They used to sleep late. They were very late sleepers. Can you believe it? <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Gary Newton. Oh, Gary and Mike, of course. I've heard so much about you both. I'm sure you and Mike have much to discuss, my dear. Let me get you a drink. So... You are the Gary Newton who has never enjoyed the touch of a woman. Beth! I can't believe you crashed my wedding. Yeah, I can't believe you didn't invite me. I can't believe you cheated on me with that waitress from Dairy Queen. And I can't believe you found out. But that's not the point. What the hell are you doing with Senor Rinko? Look, Mike, if you want to stay and behave yourself, fine. But if you're here to mess with my head, then you should just split right now. Because I totally love this guy, and I'm going to spend the rest of my life with him. Got it? Yeah, I'm sorry. You love him. But that's why you're getting hitched. And I'm totally happy for you. Totally, totally happy. Oh, oh, the rest of her life. Oh, 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 oh. Hi, I'm really <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Gary, I am so sorry. You startled me. Are, are you okay, son? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Hey, where'd you learn that? In the army or something? Uh, army? <laughs> No, they would not take me. As you have no knowledge of women, I have no arches in my feet. Well, it's late. I've got a couple of big days ahead. Buenas noches. Yeah, uh, okay. Good night. Oh, oh, man. What are you doing, Kurt? Oh, just draining off some of this excellent free hooch, man. Into the bushes and whatnot. Uh, I don't think those are bushes. <laughs> no. Hey, is this place awesome or what? Enrique is like so freaking cool. I don't know, the guy just punched me out. What a stool! I will kick his ass, man! I'll do it! No, no, it's okay. But there was something that was very weird about the way he took me down. Something familiar. 
Hi, Dad. <laughs> Damn it, Gary! I told you never, ever sneak up on a Marine! Happy Father's Day. That's it. It was a military move. But why would Enrique lie? It's like my mama always said. If a dog don't bark, maybe he ain't a dog. dog, dog. I have a feeling. A hunch. It's like my mama always said. Just cause a hoe don't charge, don't mean she ain't no hoe. Wow, man, your mom's a lot cooler than I thought. Sounds like a case for stroke. Gary Newton stroke. He's mad. He's bad. He's crazy. He's stroke. Gary stroke. Stick around, Curtis. We got us a bad mamma jamma. And I might just need someone to get my back. You dig? Um, Gary, why do you keep talking like your mom? Hey, Mike, Portia. there's definitely something wrong with this Enrique guy. Oh, I know. See, I've got them all figured out. See, Enrique's got money, power, good looks, great house, amazing car, nice belt. It's got to be alligator or guana or something foreign. Anyways, there's one thing I have that he doesn't. ADD? No, youth! I'm gonna show Beth she's hooking up with a walking heart attack. Tennis, anyone? Mike, we're in the middle of How a... How about it, Enrique? Best of five sets? Mano a mano? Mike, don't do this. What? Are you afraid mothballs is gonna break a hip? <sighs> Whatever. Hey, bring it on, dentures! <sighs> Ugh. Okay. Rack em. Pin! Bullseye! Checkmate! Jim! Blackjack! Yahtzee! Say it, son. She sunk my battleship. <sighs> oh, Mike. Forgive me. Where are my manners? It must be difficult to lose, especially in love. Please, join us tonight for our rehearsal dinner, my friend. A little champagne and dancing will do you some good. Take your mind off how miserable your life must be, huh? Now, where would a cat with something to hide hide something? In a hiding place. Shut up and watch the door, bitch! Ow, Gary, you hurt me. Uh, I'm sorry, Kurt. Oh, I forgot my cigars. Be cool. Black Tigers of Quezon, Third Recon, Delta Company. Baddest mothers in Nam. Dude, you're talking like your mom again. My old man was in the same outfit. Which means Enrique was no draft dodging mama's boy. If he bulled us about that, who knows what else that turkey's jiving us about. All the cops in the donut shop say, way yo, way yo, way yo! Walk like an Egyptian! And now, a toast to my new friend, Mike Boner. With the possible exception of today, you are a wiener in my book. How are you doing? <laughs> I just got my ass kicked by Father Time. How do you think I'm doing? <sighs> I feel really freaking stupid, Beth. Why? Because I thought that if I came down here and you saw me again, that you'd remember how great it was with us and that you'd want to get back together with me again. That can't happen, Mike. Why not? Because I'm getting married tomorrow, you idiot. Look, why are you so crazy about this guy? Because he's fun, he's generous, he's athletic, he's rich. Look, I he I'm fun and fun. I can trust him, Mike. Okay, okay. But does he love you like I love you? What? 
I love you, Beth, more than anything. I always have, and I always will. You never told me that before. No, no, no words, more tongue. No, no. Wh wh why not? You know why, Mike. It'll never work. You can't commit. I can change. I gotta go. You get anything yet, Kurt? Gardner Kurt? Vanished. And the magic bunny went... Hippity, hippity hop, hop, hippity hop, hop all, all the way home. Oh, man. Ha <laughs> ha, I got you, sucker. Dude. You gotta get over to story time. If you get low enough, you can totally see up the librarian's skirt. Yo, check it. It's Enrique with a different name. Yeah, that's great, bro. But Miss Janey ain't wearing no panties. If Enrique Garcia is really Alex Cruz, let's see if we can track down where the real Enrique Garcia's at. Jace? Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for a cat that goes by the name Enrique Garcia. E e Enrique? Ay, Dios mío, Enrique died 30 years ago. This is Enrique's room. I have kept it exactly as it was the day he left us. Everything I have to remember him by is in here. Oh, man, these things rock ass. I took out my babysitter's eye with one. No, please don't touch. Don't touch. <laughs> I can change. Can't come in. Come in. Turns out Enrique, or Alex Cruz, has played a lot of roles. Soldier, cop, FBI, then poof, he's gone. Suddenly he pops up in Miami with a new name and a huge crib. Hmm. Snowstorm in Miami, baby. What? It's snowing. Who is it? It's me. Uh, Mike, you shouldn't be here. Just, just hear me out, Beth. I've done a lot of thinking, okay? And from the moment you first picked me up in that bar, I haven't been able to get you out of my head. Mike, please. When I heard you were getting married, well, I realized you were going away for good, and I... I never want to lose you again. What does that mean? Marry me, Beth. Don't mess with me. I've never been more sure of anything in my life. Oh, man. This is going to piss a lot of people off. Who cares? <sighs> All right. Let's do it. Really? Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I'll go pack. You go get the car. We'll head on over to City Hall and do this right away. Right. I did it! I did it. I now pronounce you man and wife in sickness and in health, forsaking all others. As in every other woman on the entire planet, forever and ever and ever. You okay, babe? Yeah, fine. I'm, I'm great, great. But, well, I was just thinking, you know, maybe we shouldn't uh, do this right away. You know, we could hang out for a while, go catch a movie type of thing. This you know? isn't going to happen, is it? Uh, uh, Beth. Beth, everything you said about me is right. I guess I was kidding myself. I just can't go through with it. I'm real sorry. Oh, well. You knew? I tell you to change, Mike, but I know you never will. And that's okay.
And if anyone objects to this union, speak now or forever hold your peace. Oh, I think we may have an objection or two, Mr. Preacher Man. You see, we came to Mr. Garcia's house just like everyone else, you dig? And we ate the food, drank some wine, stole some towels, and then we got to thinking. Did some digging. Made ourselves a little discovery. Why don't you boys have a seat now? What you call him oh, boy, honky? Oh, easy, my brother. What the hell are you doing? It's like my mama always said. If the pie ain't in the oven, then maybe Mr. Enrique Garcia is really one. Alex Cruz, <gasps> FBI agent turned drug smuggler. Good cop gone bad, baby. Dear God, no. Cover is blown. Move in! the coolest wedding I've ever been to. Are you out of your mind? Enrique died. That changes things. Enrique? Did it ever occur to you two geniuses that I might be an FBI agent working undercover? Oh, boy. Cool. You just blew an eight-year, $75 million narcotic sting, the largest in U.S. history. Thanks to you two, I'll be spending the rest of my life on a pig farm in freaking Iowa. Excellent, man. Razor Cat's got a gig there next month. You guys! We want you out of the state by 0900. Yes, sir. I can't believe that bastard lied to me about everything. I thought I could trust him. Oh, to think I fell for that idiot. Now, come on, Beth. It's not like you've never dated an idiot before. You thinking what I'm thinking? Have a one for old time's sake. Bartender, sir? Can I have a beer, please? Stroke! That's right, baby. How's it hanging? That was terrible. I blew the case. Uh-uh. The way I see it, you did that little lady a solid. For a white, lactose intolerant virgin, you're okay in my book, blood. Thanks, blood. Now, how about a 40 on the house? I think you've had, had a few, few too many. 86, this idiot! <laughs> Ow! So, what finally happened between you and Beth? Ah, you know, same old story. She wanted me bad, but I said, Sorry, Beth, this man can't be chained down. Mikey needs the freedom of the open road so he can do whatever he wants, whenever he wants, wherever he wants. <laughs> Except in the state of Florida. You're watching Comedy Central. If you thought freshman year was rough, wait till you see it animated. Stick around for undergrads. Coming up next. There are two ways to define uh, function. Implicitly and explicitly. Feed Both your appetite for fun with Butterfinger Crisp. Light crispy wafers layered with Butterfinger cream. Butterfinger crisp. Follow the finger. You're not worshiping Satan, are you, son? No, sir. Never. Sinning is bad. Gosh. 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 Wow. 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 Oral, do you know what happens to little boys who masturbate? Yes. Wow. Hot dog. Meat. Sounds yummy. Come on, let's do it. I'm going to the bathroom. Okay. Moral Oral. 
Monday through Thursday at 12.15 on Adult Swim. Hooray! I did it! Love to show you the world's next great video game. There's only one problem. You haven't created it yet. You've played since Master Alex has left his chambers. How tragic. He thinks only of Serena, his one true love. One true love? Whatever! He never even had the guts to ask her out. <sighs> Loser. Well, I think it's romantic. You would. <sighs> I gotta go. I've got a date with the stable boy. Hey, Alex, take the picture already. Uh, sorry. I was just, uh... Focusing. Could you move your leg a little to the left? How about this? Should I arch my back more? Uh, no. That's great. Uh, Alex, isn't the film rewinding? Huh? Oh, yeah. Well, we got some good ones. I'll have them back in a few days and we'll scan them onto your website. Thanks for helping me out with this. No problem. That's great. I mean, you obviously rushed here right from work and everything. You've still got your geeky work clothes on. <laughs> Actually, this is how I usually dress. I didn't want you to know because... Hey, I'd be the last person to judge somebody by their clothes. Come on, look at me. What? You look incredible. I mean, you've got a great look. Thanks, but it gives people really weird ideas about me. Like I must worship Satan or something. I mean, I do have a pagan worldview, but that's not the same thing. Or they're like, hey baby, suck my blood. As if I'm some poser Anne Rice freak. Or some spooky Marilyn Manson groupie. You know, the pentagram has been so misconstrued. I know what you mean. Well, at least Halloween's coming up. It's like the only time I fit in. Well, I'll be glad you have a holiday where you fit in. There's no National Loser Day. Oh, come on. You're not a loser. Actually, you're pretty cool. Oh, yeah? Oh, I love Halloween. Yeah. All those fine bridge and tunnel tricks dressed like vampires and crap. Hey, baby, suck my blood. Suck it, suck it. <laughs> hey, what happened to that girl you met at the parade last year? After she took off her makeup, she was definitely more tricked than treat. I hate Halloween. Chaka, come on. No way. I'm not even going outside. What's with you? How can anyone hate Halloween? <sighs> See, when I was a kid, I had this arch enemy, Bobby Zangi. I know him. He was the dry cleaner's kid, and he used to write like, all these obnoxious things in the steam on the window of the store. Every Halloween, he would get all these big kids together and make my life a living hell. Uh, let's not go in there. Thinking about crappy old butterscotch lollipops. Hey, guys, you ever take candy from the 
baby. No! Come on! <laughs> you suck! And you throw like a girl! It wasn't a big deal. It's not like I cried or anything. Ha, uh, Chaka's afraid to trick or treat. Screw you, I am not. I'll be there. So I guess I'm stuck with the goth look, because at last count I have 95 pairs of shoes. All black. You know, you could be wearing, I don't know, like fuzzy house slippers, <laughs> and you'd still be cool. Oh, really? Even the kind with the little bunny faces? Well... The point is, who cares what you wear? It doesn't define who you are. <laughs> That's true. I mean, like you. You're far more interesting than the way you dress. Uh, thanks. I mean, what's cool about you is that you don't try too hard. Yeah. I like that in a guy. Yeah? Yeah. So are you going to the Halloween parade? I, uh, I am. I mean, and if you are too... Well, we could always, you know, go together. Although you probably have other no, plans. No, no, I'd like that. You're kidding. I mean, right on. Sonny and Cher. French poncho aisle B, bad to pay, third bin on the left. Hey, what's up, Jen? Mm. Look, you have got to help me find some stuff for my costume. Yeah, yeah, you and everybody else. Hey, 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 buddy, buddy, you put that clown nose there? Consider it sold. I'm serious. All right, go. What do you need? Well, start off, need some astro turf. Preferably blue, I'll settle for green. Two pounds of glitter, a pair of x-ray specs, a dildo, metal tube. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, yeah, hi, Alex. Whoa, Jen, this holiday must be getting to you. You look half dead. Oh, so does this mean you'll be drooling over me? Or do I also have to play the zither like your dream girl, Serena? <laughs> you joke, but guess who I've got a date with? I don't know, destiny? The devil. No. Serena. Ooh, you were close. Girl. Oh, right on, man. Does she know you have a date with her? I mean, this isn't just another one of your fantasies. I asked her to the Halloween parade and she said yes. You're sure this isn't just a friend thing? Why is it so hard to believe a sexy, exciting woman like Serena could find me desirable? Okay, I said I was going to the parade and if she was too, maybe we could go together. I think that's a date. <laughs> What's going on? Sir, you have to try that on with underwear. Read the sign. God, I can't wait for this damn holiday to be over. Hey, Ron. You got my photos? Just got done. Nice. No wonder you got double prints. You looked at them? Quality control. You wouldn't believe the shots this redhead dropped off last night? Oh, my collection is really expanding. She's pretty hot. What did you uh, have to do to get her to pose like that? Will you tell me? P please? Uh, I'm just helping her with her website. Actually, we're gonna go to the parade together. Yeah, uh-huh. Like that's ever gonna happen. No, really. Alex, let me explain something to you. In this cold, uncaring universe, there are certain rules, certain constants, if you will. Not unlike gravity, one of these brutal, crushing absolutes is the fact that we don't get chicks like that. Or any chicks, for that matter. Be content with your place in the pit with the rest of us. Well, I got news for you. I'm not in the pit anymore. I'm not like you guys. Uh-huh. Anyway, I uh, got a copy of the next Star Trek movie script off the internet. No way. D do they kill off Riker? Ah, Alex. You'll always be one of us. Wow. Whoa. Good thing I caught you before you broke out the lotion. Chaka! Oh, like I'm wrong. What do you want, anyway? Well, I need some of your clothes to cut up for my old school Madonna costume. You know, kind of that ratty look before she got all Hindi. You have clothes? Uh, yeah, but mine are nice. Hey, you can't just come in here and... What, interrupt your sicko fantasies? For your information, I don't need to fantasize about Serena. I got a date with her. Oh, yeah, right. And I have no plans for the weekend. No, I'm not kidding. We're going to the Halloween parade together. Get out of here. You finally made a move. Yep. Are you sure this isn't just, like, a friend thing? Why is this so impossible to believe? Calm yourself. So fine, you're going out. Since you're the Mac now, I guess you won't be needing this anymore. Can I help you? Alex. Hey, it's me. Huh? Serena? Serena? Yeah, well, 
Well, you know, I thought a lot about what we were talking about the other day, and you were right. I mean, who really cares how I dress? Uh, not me. I'm tired of people judging me by how I look. Oh, and hey, check out my shoes. They're not black. Huh. My old look was attracting all the low lives. Maybe now I'll finally find a decent guy. But once you get him, you're gonna go back to the old look, right? I don't know. I mean, you got me thinking that maybe I've been hiding behind the clothes and the makeup. I mean, I kind of like the new me. Leather chokers and corsets, who needs them, right? Yeah, who needs them? You won't believe it, but Alex is dating this. Madre de Dios! Oh, beautiful, in the Enterprise A. You want to reprint, it'll cost you five bucks. The lodgements are 20, posters are 30, and we also have a deluxe package deal that includes 40 wallet sizes. Yes, please. Give me 12. I still can't believe my brother might actually get some. And with the girl of his dreams. That is like so romantic. I can just see them walking together hand in hand under the stars. Please. Alex's only thought is how long is it going to take to get into her fishnets? I don't know. Maybe I should dump the whole website. I'm just perpetuating my old image. You can't! I mean, it's so creative and artistic, and you've put so much work into it. Well, I suppose I could leave it up. Great. But I want people to think that they could like me for who I really am. Kind of like you do. Um, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we should make plans to hook up for the parade. Oh, that... I'm not sure what I'm gonna go as. Now that I've broadened my wardrobe, I have more options. All right. Maybe I'll even go as a blonde. Uh, um, I might not, um, be able to go. I mean, I think I can go, but I might have to work late and... Oh, come on. It's Halloween. Tell your creepy boss you're taking the day off. Or I could tell him. No, no, no. That's okay. I'll do it. Cool. Okay, give me a call when you get up tomorrow, okay? Bye. What if the only reason I've been into her is because of her dangerous, exotic look? What does that say about me? That you're as much of a creep as the other guys she attracts? Is this about Serena? By the way, you took a few tasty shots the other day. The one where she's stroking the cherub? Oh, nice. How did you know- Those pics are getting around, my friend. Damn that Ron. Bless that Ron. Bless him. Well, she's not even dressing like that anymore. In fact, she's dumped the entire goth deal- Wait, 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 wait a minute. You mean she's not hot anymore? Alex? Dump her ass. Without the black eyeliner and velvet and crap, what's in it for you? Nothing. Right, Goat? I tend to disagree. You what? do? Yeah. What's it matter how she dresses? Alex, if you're lucky enough to meet someone and feel a connection, you can't let your ambivalence get in the way of potential bliss. Plus, it's all coming off anyway, if you know what I mean. You know, Goat, you're right. Sleazy, but right. Thanks, man. I know what I gotta do now. I'm so glad you guys agreed to come trick-or-treating, even though technically we're too old. Yeah, and like, technically, no one's gonna give us any candy anyway. You gotta watch that stuff. There's some evil people out there. They put razor blades and drugs and all kinds of crap in candy. Hey, Matt, where's your costume? I'm not really into costumes. See, one year, my mom got me this cheap-ass rubber mask. I think it was supposed to be a robot or something. Anyway, the mouth hole was way too small, and I couldn't really see. So I kept tripping over pumpkins and things like that, you know what I mean? Why didn't you just take it off? No way. I wasn't going to break the code of Halloween. What the hell is that? It's like this. No matter how bad your mask is, you have to wear it all night. And if you don't, you're dishonored. True enough. That is so stupid. Anyway, I started getting dizzy, right? The next thing I remember, there were all these cops and paramedics all over me. What I found out later was that I passed out, and my friend thought I died, so he ran away. Aww. Then some neighbors found me on their stoop and called the cops. <laughs> So we both hate Halloween. Nah, I dig Halloween. You know, it's cool. I just don't like dressing up. And wax lips, they kind of freak me out, too. Hey, check out those little cuties. Hey, kid, you've had enough treats. Now it's time for a trip. Damn! You suck! What you gonna do? <laughs> oh my god, Chaka! How could you do that to that little girl? Hey, they did it to me when I was a kid. Now it's my turn. She's gotta learn sooner or later that life can be cruel. Besides, I just saved her, like, three cavities. Man, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. You got any Zagnut in there? Hey, Alex, it's Serena. Um, I think you were supposed to call. Are we still going to the parade? I gotta work at the comic shop, so pick me up there. 
If you're not there by six, I guess I'll just take off. Okay, bye. Hey, Frank, it's Alex. Yeah, what's up? You are too fat to be Godzilla. You should have been the blob. Shut up. Well, you don't even look like... Oh, actually, you do. Uh, hold on a second. Trick or treat. Beat it, freaks. We ain't got no candy. I bet he ate it all. What's he supposed to be anyway? Jabba the Hutt? More like Jabba's dancer. Yeah, I got your Jabba the Hutt right here. Oh, man. Get out the way. <laughs> Sorry, Alex. I had to take care of some business. Is Serena there? No, nah, man. Serena just left. Damn. Was she pissed? <sighs> well, if you see her, tell her I'm on my way. No problem. Sad nut. <laughs> Cool. Mmm, what's that one? Whoa, Chaka, you okay? You seem a little free. Free? Guys, I'm kind of in a rush, so... Chaka's in trouble. When is she not? Oh, really, man. She bugged out on us big time, and then she just took off. Yeah. We think the candy she ate must have been laced with something nasty. Oh, man, but I have to... Okay, let's find her. Oh. Go away, we're out of candy! What's wrong with you people? Goat? Jen, you gotta help me. I fell asleep with some incense burning and I accidentally set my costume on fire. Oh. This is all that's left of it. All right, come inside. Uh, I was hoping you'd say that. Mm. Come on, <laughs> give it to me. I think this may be a little tight. Oh, then suck it in. Oh man, this is gonna be great. <laughs> Where did these chains go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's karma, you know. For stealing candy from that little kid. Karma? What the... Look, we gotta track her down before something happens. Yo, Alex, there she is. my way. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Are you okay? I'm okay. I'm okay. Do you need help? Okay. You will never get away. Welcome to hell. No! No! I'm gonna help! the hell are you guys? I'm Jen, can you tell? And I'm Goat. Hey, baby, if you and I were squirrels, would you let me bust a nut in your hole? <laughs> <laughs> Ew! So what's going on? You guys look freaked out. Look, Chalk is tripping. Someone slipped her some tainted candy. Man, I hate when that happens. Oh my god, there's Chaka! Oh god! That's so pretty. I don't think I've ever seen it. Chaka! I gotta cover, man. Come on, girls, we gotta help her. Here, give me a hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, did someone just grab my ass? Oh, oh, oh. Chaka? Chaka! Hey, down here! Oh, I can't look. Come on down. Hey, Alex! Why you got no face? Come on down, Chaka. Everything is cool. Trust me. No! No, you're...
you're just trying to trick me like the bad bunny. Oh, oh. Alex, trust your feelings. Come on, just bring her oh. down. Go, oh, be the hero, baby. Got it, man. Go, man. Go. Oh, thank God. Mission accomplished. Are you okay? Chaka. Are you all right? Come on, talk to me. Are you all right? <coughs> what are you supposed to be? Some lame-ass mummy or something? Chaka, we were so worried about you. Come on, guys. Let's get her home. Alex, don't worry about it, man. We'll make sure she gets home safe, all right? We got it cut. Thanks, bro. Nah, don't worry about it. Bye, guys. All right. Take care, y'all. All right. Yeah, take Bye. it easy. Made a push pop. Hey, Alex, aren't you supposed to be on a date with the Princess of Darkness? I was, until my sister's latest crisis. Maybe it's not too late to hook up with her. You gotta try, man. Hey, I ain't stopping you. Thanks. I'm out of here. You made my pigtails too tight. God, I smell like the floor of a bar. Serena, I'm glad I found you. You won't believe what just happened. Alex, so glad you can make it. Look, I'm sorry I missed you. Chaco, wow, you look incredible. I, I mean, how come you're back to your old look? What can I say? I missed wearing black. Hey, this is Jerry. No, Jerry is dead. I am the stat. Uh-huh. Can I speak to you alone? Okay, what? You gotta believe I didn't intentionally blow you off. I'm really sorry. Okay. Serena... I think you're really great, goth or no goth, and you're amazing, and I wish I could just, what I'm trying to say is- Alex, jeez, you don't have to pour it on, we're cool, okay? You're still my friend, I'll see you around. Come on, Lestat. Frankly, sir, I find your impertinent countenance quite tiresome. Don't worry, man. The world's a big vagina, so just dive in. What about that one over there? Just go over and say, Hey, Blondie, does the carpet match the drapes? You know what? I will. Thanks. But Alex, I was just kidding. Do I really sound like that? Worse. So you want to go get a beer? Sure. If you can stand to be seen with yourself. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what are these socks doing in here? Uh, they're for, uh, enhancement. They go in the front. Ugh. Oh, man. I love that carpet and drapes line. Can I use it? Well, it worked for Alex. Yeah, it did. So you think he's gonna blow it? Probably. Or if he's lucky, she'll be the one. Shut your mouth. I'm just talking about Alex. I'm Dwayne Wade. My fire's hot. You hot right now. But I'm a legend. I'm an icon. Everybody knows me. Dwayne Wade? Hey. I am such a big fan of yours, and we're so amazing, and you're such a great player, and oh, I'm sorry. Is this your dad? Who's in your fave five? Introducing my faves from T-Mobile. Unlimited calls to any five people, any number, even landlines. Make yourself at home. We'll be out in a minute. What are you doing? Need a moment. Look, Mom, he wants to help you with your laundry. When you need a moment, chew it over with Twix.
want thousands in cash by tomorrow for just over $200 a month based on trusting you? Without you putting up security, just your signature? Then take a few minutes and make the cash call to 877-860-CASH. That's 877-860-CASH. Ready? Let the next Virtual Fighter Tournament begin. Skillful combos, precise control. Attack and react with power and grace. 17 champions can win. One will. Virtua Fighter 5, the new look of real fighting. Rated T for teen. You're not worshipping Satan, are you, son? No, sir. Never. Sinning is bad. Gosh, gosh, gosh. Wow, wow, wow. Oral, do you know what happens to little boys who masturbate? Yes. Wow. Hot dog. Neat. Sounds yummy. Come on, let's do it. I'm going to the bathroom. Okay. Moral Oral, Monday through Thursday at 12.15 on Adult Swim. Hooray! I did it! charged for internet service. I don't know, maybe $24? $23.90. What are you being charged for internet service? $10.95. $10.95. Millions are discovering the real value of People PC Online. Go to PeoplePC.com now to try us free for 30 days. You get unlimited internet access for only $10.95 a month. People PC Online has a smart dialer with more local access numbers than AOL for faster, more reliable connections. You even get security tools to help protect you from spam, pop-ups, and email viruses. And you can continue to use your favorite instant messenger. Compare us side-by-side -side with your current ISP. Go to peoplepc.com and start saving today. So the next time you're asked how much you pay, proudly declare 1095. Go online or call 1-800-861-4003. People PC Online, a better way to internet. Flamingo batting form? That's right. Wait for me, Wing Chen. Please listen to Mori's song. Hiya! 
328. And why are you doing batting practice with a Japanese sword? What? You dumbass! It's Arakawa class. What exactly is that? You unpatriotic person. Uh, unpatriotic person? Let me explain. Athlete O, currently Kocho, went from a pitcher to a batter, but he was unable to succeed. Arakara class refers to the secret training that Coach Arakara put O through. Through unusual training methods, such as cutting paper hung from the ceiling, he perfected that one-legged batting form. You got it now? But why in the world do you have to do the training? Say what? Why, Tetsuko? Uh-huh. But why? Oh, all you people ask is why, 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 why? Uh, man! Oh, Milk, I forgot to tell you. Koimoya put out a new product. What? Koimoya did? That's right! Let me see. Let me see. You're so self-serving. Here it is! Dear Mucho! Wow, what's this? It comes with deer cards, too. Let's open it. Let's open it. Oh, uh, Koi Moya's new products are always so unique. Come on, Milk. Let's open up the bag of snacks. Why don't come out? Why don't come out? There! Help me! Somebody help me, please! I won't taste good even if you swallow me! I'm a filthy man, a very filthy man! There's always poop on my underwear! Mr. Snake, I'm begging you, please spare me, man! I'll never let go of this vine! Oh! Was it a dream? Was it a dream? Medicine, medicine, medicine. There, there, I've calmed down a little bit now. But what in the world was that please spare me man? Stinks. It stinks. What a beastly stench. This is bad. Tetsuko just can't stop herself. This beastly stench is what hooks you, you know. world said to be seeing hard times, there are companies still achieving results. What are the secrets to their successes? Let us look into it together. Hey, isn't this one of your favorite shows, Tetsuko? Yes, it is. It's really educational. A housekeeping helper doesn't need education. Today we will take a look at Mr. Kentucky's corporation, the Pork Leg Factory, which has achieved great results with the popular Pork Leg Barrel. What a really big mole. We will be speaking with the factory manager, Mr. Kaizo Butai. Hey, Milk. It's the factory that makes your favorite Pork Leg Barrels. Milk just loves pork legs. Factory manager, thank you very much for your time. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm a country pumpkin, so I might slip up, but thank you. Oh, wow. He has a huge bowl, too. Oh, my. He really does. A double nose mold. <laughs> oh, my milk. That's so rude! They can't hear me. No smoles. Then if you would please, take us through the factory now. Oh, all right, but I'm such a country bumpkin. <laughs> I got that already, so hurry up, you country bumpkin. The Kentucky pork leg barrels are produced in this completely automated system. The only things people do inside this system are to oversee the machines and sexual harassment. And by leaving everything up to the machines, the uniformity of the taste is maintained. We am. <laughs> oh, wow, Milk. A successful company sure does things differently. I wonder if they won't show the moles again. 
So if I understand you correctly, you just leave the pig legs and remove everything else, is that it? Here it is! The moon! Oh, yes! That beam saves us lots of trouble and is a great help. Now we will hear from the King's Idea Laboratory's illustrious Dr. Eyepatch, the genius who developed that beam. What? Do you said Dr. Eyepatch, Tetsuko? That's where the person who created me is, my daddy! How dreamy! Hello again from the world of TV. I am the executive director here at the, the, the King's Idea Laboratory, Dr. Eyepatch. Wow, Dr. Eyepatch is really on TV. Now, here is the promotional video for the Pork Leg Beam Piggy Garden. Stop! Excellent Mecca number 006, the Piggy Gun. When this piggy bean hits a pig, only the parts necessary for pork legs remain, and the rest is sent flying into another dimension. Oh, the King's Idea Laboratory is so splendid. Give praise to the King's Idea Laboratory. Amazing! Just what you'd expect from the place that made me. Isn't it amazing? Yes, yes. By the way, if you happen to see this robot in town, please throw your eggs at her. Those of you driving cars, feel free to run her over. <laughs> That's mean. Please may this person not be my daddy. <laughs> so, this is Dr. Arpatch reporting from the King's Idea Laboratory. A lie, but still a beautiful lie. This week's report for Company Now has been from Kentucky, which all of you know through the pork leg barrels. After all, I'm just a country bumpkin. <laughs> Companies doing well sure are different. Miss Milk, open up! Shit, it's the landlord. Miss Milk, you will pay rent today! I'm not the same landlord that's been here before! Damn it, all they talk about is money, 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 money. Miss Milk, you open up! If you don't, you'll be sorry! Mr. Landlord... This isn't the time to be talking about rent. What did you say? I won't get tricked today. You dumbass. Your favorite, Pico's Fashion Check, is here in town today. What? Miss Pico's Fashion Check? I've got no time to waste. I have to go show off my fashion. Miss Pico. Say who? Saved by the landlord's craze for fashion check. I know. Why? But we love each other so much, my darling. There's nothing we can do. We are only pigs. But why? Don't pigs have a right to live, too? Damn it. Just because we were born pigs. <laughs> if only we'd been born dolphins instead. <laughs> Our love is eternal, even though we may become pork legs. Mr. Donkey. <laughs> Miss Tonka, when we become pork legs, when we become pork legs, let's go into the same barrel! Ah! Hey, how you doing, amigo? Want some tea? Say, how about going on a drive with me sometime? A drive? Come on, amigo. Please stop it. That's called sexual harassment. Oops, did you get mad? Of course. I know you haven't gotten any in a while. That's why you're so irritable, aren't you? <laughs> Perverted old bastard. Mr. Donkey G, farewell! I'll be right behind you! Mr. Donkey G! Come on, how about it? Do it with me? Just kidding, just kidding! <laughs> ah! What are you doing? 
That's the power switch to the piggy gun, you idiot! <laughs> oh my god! Switch on! Push! Push! Oh, oh, oh. Idiot. <laughs> huh? I'm alive. Huh? Tonka's safe too. It's God. God has saved us, Miss Tonko. Must be. What else could it be? Let's escape, Miss Tonko. Yes. Let's see. Dr. Yuki and Ray Shibata were the same person. How wonderful! <laughs> Hello. This is Yamada Noodles. Just kidding. Yeah. It's me, Milk. Oh, Mr. President. That's right. I am most definitely the president. How are you? Uh, actually, I had a nasty dream just a minute ago. A nasty dream? That's right. I had a really scary dream. Really? I was being swallowed whole by a giant serpent. I screamed and cried and yelled for help, but no one came to help me. I was about to be strangled to death. A giant serpent, huh? Why in heaven's name did I have a dream like that? Then how about I interpret your dream for you, Mr. President? What? Milk Chan, you can interpret dreams? That's amazing. Milk Chan, you mean you can interpret dreams? You shut up, you big idiot. I am Dr. Kayama's best pupil. What? The most famous psychologist in the world? That's right. The one with the fake glasses. What? The one with fake glasses? I would definitely want you to interpret my dream. Very well. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Leave it to me, man. What? Man? It's what I said in my dream. Dr. Kayama is truly amazing. <gasps> Could those glasses be a magical tool that lets him see into other people's minds? Or else, why would he wear such weird fake glasses in public? That must be why. It must be! Is your mind prepared? It sure is! According to Dr. Kayama's book. According to it? If you dream of being swallowed by a giant serpent. If I dream of being swallowed by a giant serpent. It suggests something terrible will happen in the near future. What? <laughs> what? Well, wait, 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 what is it? What is the terrible thing in the future? For example. For example? Your parents will be slaughtered before your eyes. What? Right when you try to eat a hot, sweet bean bun, you'll drop it. What? You will be nicknamed Wild Monkey. I see. It's all over. Everything is coming to an end for me. Mr. Tonkichi, whatever are we going to do now? Shh, be quiet. What if the humans discover us? But what? Look here, listen carefully. There is a country on this world where they don't eat pork. What? Such a country exists? Yes, it exists. No pork legs there either? No, no pork legs. Or ginger saute? No, no ginger saute either. Pork and cabbage? No, no pork and cabbage either. Then, then, if we go to that country, we'll be... That's right. The two of us can be happy together. Mr. Don Kiji! Miss Taco! <laughs> <laughs> How dare those pigs mess with me just cause I'm a country bumpkin. But this will show those other pigs who's boss. <laughs> <laughs> really? Dreaming of getting kicked by a horse is really that good? 
That's right. Dr. Kayama's book says... What? What did it say? That it indicates a great future. What? What is it? What is this great future? Yes, that's right. Two of them. You certainly get information quickly. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Then I'll deposit the money in the Swiss bank account as usual. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Ridiculing me because I'm a country bumpkin. Um, a great future is... A great future is... It says you'll get a girlfriend that's 25 years younger than you. What? And, and, and? Um, your male functions will come back to you again. What? That's great. This is a great future. And, and, and... And it says you'll get a gift of tasty sweet rice balls. Really? Sweet rice balls? They're the president's favorite. What else? Say there, Mr. President. Don't you have something to tell me? What? That's right, that's right. They're orders, orders. Get a hold of yourself. Yes, yes. Two pork-leg pigs have escaped from Kentucky, whose pork-leg barrels are a huge hit all over the world. What? Pork-legs from Kentucky? That's right. And apparently the runaway pigs are even planning to defect. What? Pigs are going to defect? That's right. At this rate, all the pigs in our country will defect, and we won't be able to eat pork-legs anymore. Milk, please, go and do something about it. Roger, Roger. So what did he say, Milk? What are our orders for today? Um, it's something about stopping pigs from defecting. Hmm, pigs defecting, huh? It's me, Hanage. Well, acting like an idiot is actually pretty exhausting. Oh, excuse my sudden intrusion. I am the voice of Hanage's heart. By the way, how about it? Lady sitting in front of the TV. Do you have a boyfriend? You know, a boyfriend. What? A year since you started living on your own? Living freely without anyone else interfering? Man, that's awesome. So, what, you're like a female cat in heat? Well, that's fine. You maidens enjoy it while you're young. And then become good women. This is humble advice from old Hanage. January 18th. Today I met with Mr. Termite. I never knew he was such a gentle and passionate person. That transparent and white skin is so wonderful, too. Black ants practically make me feel disgusted. Am I being a bad woman? Dear, what are you doing? Secretly reading my diary? That's horrible. What is the meaning of this? Early this morning, a man was arrested red-handed robbing a convenience store dressed in a nurse's uniform. Oh, it's Barizo. When questioned by police, he apparently stated that he wanted to be an angel in white and also wanted large sums of money. <laughs> hey, Milk. The only thing you've done is watch TV since you said Roger Roger. That's because TV's interesting. Oh, man. Our next piece of news. The two pigs that escaped from Kentucky, the couple Tonkichi and Tonko, seem to have arrived at their country of defection. And now here is live footage from on location. Oh, man. We have just caught sight of Tonkichi and Tonko. Oh, no. The pigs already defected. The people here are welcoming them warmly. Finally, will at last be free, my darling. Yeah, let's become happy together. When we've settled down, let's have lots of children. Yeah, of course. Everyone, Everyone thank, thank you! you. have disappeared. The two have disappeared with a sudden beam of light. What? 
That beam of light? Oh, Milk, that's the beam from the piggy gun. There are just legs. Only the legs remain. They are pork legs. Pork legs. Oh, Tetsuko, they've turned into pork legs. Their defection failed. Then that means... Mission completed? Let's go eat sushi or something. Yay! Yay! You, 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 you. The 99 cent buffalo snack are only from KFC. Where else can you find 100% breast meat smothered in authentic buffalo sauce for just 99 cents? That's right, just like the original KFC snacker, it's still just 99 cents. Your dollar goes further at KFC. Oh yeah, you got yourself a Skittles leak. Can you fix it? Sure. Catch the rainbow! Taste the rainbow! In all the world, there are a select few who at their very core are capable of incredible transformation. Under the most grueling conditions, they are shaped, hardened, sharpened, ready to stand among the most elite of all warriors, the few, the proud, the marine. This is the new mutator from Ratchet and Clank for PlayStation Portable. And that is our buddy Dan making out with his girlfriend. Alright. <laughs> hey, cow kisser! <laughs> 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 
The mood killer. Only weapons, all new levels. Ratchet and Clank size matters. Rated everyone 10 and up. PSP. just don't see it. Gee, I thought that big kid said it would look like a Virgin Mary. Well, maybe we should go ask your dad. Dads know everything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. Ah, that stupid romantic record <laughs> of silly sound effects. <laughs> now, what do you need? Your mom and I are uh, a little busy. Well, um, Dad, I was wondering... <laughs> Time's up, Ron. <laughs> Carl! <laughs> Here, kid, make yourself scarce for a few hours, will you? <laughs> hey, Dewey, why do your parents always give you money to go away? Golly, I don't know. Times must be good. And they never call you anything nice, like son or Dewey. Oh, uh, uh, I never thought of that. They never call me son. Well, don't take it too hard, Dewey. Like Jesus said. Okay. Hey, Oro. Oh, hey, Doey. Hi. Kind of late to be selling children snack treats, don't you think, Mr. Griepler? Never too late for a boy like Doey. Oh, thanks. Oh, uh, I couldn't take money. But you can have a free tour of the back of my ice cream van. Mm. No, thank you. Boy, Oro, I sure do have a great life. Always getting to do what I want and never having to worry about germs from hugging my parents or anything. Oh, a present. How good. Looks like somebody's going to be my special helper today. Let's see. Kenny, A minus. Oral, A plus. Oh, and Doey, C minus. Believe it or not, that's an improvement, son. <sighs> son. <laughs> Isn't Miss Sculptum great? Have you ever noticed how the corners of her mouth crinkle when she frowns at me? And how she delightfully rolls her eyes when I ask a question? Well, I just don't understand why your parents hide the key in a different place every day. Gosh, Miss Sculptum's penmanship is impeccable. The way she writes her D's and F's. Just like an angel. Gee, Doey, you sure are talking a lot about Miss Sculptum. Well, I never thought someone could love me as much as she does. Really? Yeah, she calls me son and even patted me on the shoulder once. Gee, I guess you're right. Maybe you should show her that you love her back. Hey, dads know everything. I'll ask my dad once he gets home. Good idea. Bye, Doey. Bye, Oro. 99 bottles of milk on the wall, 99 bottles of milk. You take one down, pass it around, 99 bottles of milk on the wall. 99 bottles of milk on the wall, 99 bottles of milk. You take one down, pass it around, 99 bottles of milk on the wall. 99 bottles of milk on the wall, 99... Oh! Uh, hey, guy. You were home the whole time? Yeah. <laughs> I left the key out here for you. Look. Brilliant, huh? Oh. Dad? Now what? Uh, how do you express love for somebody? Uh-huh, uh -huh. interesting. Look, here's a couple of bucks for dinner. Mom and I have a date tonight, and I'm definitely getting lucky thanks to God's sacrament of awesome marriage. <laughs> Oh, a present. How good. Looks like somebody's going to be my special helper today. Day, day. How good. Looks like somebody's going to be... 
Hello, what's this? I wanted to show you my love. Joey, I can't accept this without making you my super special helper of the day. Hey there, baby, what you doing tonight? I don't want to drink and I don't want to fight. Now we're together, I got something to say. And it won't come out in the usual way. Boy, Doey, you sure were right. Miss Sculptum does love you. What's not to love? What are you gonna give her tomorrow? Well, I spent all my allowance money. Can you ask your parents for more? Mm, I don't think I should bother them right now. Mm. Huh. Well, hey, I got it. Why don't you write her a nice poem? Okay. Your soul is so pure, of filth it is speckless. I gave you my heart along with a necklace? How much did this cost? Well, nothing. I wrote it myself and didn't charge me anything. Well, looks like I have an old new special helper. First job, return this to Doey. Uh, <laughs> oh, this just won't do! Miss Scotham has very expensive taste. I've got to get more money, and fast. Gee, Mr. Creepler's been parked outside of your house for hours now. I know. He keeps asking me to get into the back of his boring old ice cream van. Well, gosh, maybe he's just lonely and needs a friend. Well, so what? I don't want to get into the back of his van. I want to go into Miss Sculptum's van. Hey, I just got an idea. Since Mr. Creepler likes you, maybe you could get him to give you presents. Why would I want presents from him? Then you can give those presents to Miss Sculptum. Wow, Oral, you sure are smart. Gosh, Dad said smart almost never means righteous. I better go make sure we're doing the right thing. Okay. <coughs> 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 Hey, Mom, if a man likes you and you don't like him back, is it wrong to take presents from him? What a marvelous question. We girls deserve to be pampered. And if that means tricking men into buying us dressy head hats and fancy finger rings, then so be it. But doesn't the Bible tell us it's better to give than to receive? As a matter of fact, no. It never, ever says that. Isn't that wonderful? Never, ever, 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 ever. Howdy, Mr. Creepler. Hey, Oral. What'll you have? I came by to talk about my friend Doey. I think he kind of likes you. Enough to get in the back of my van? Well, some people really like presents. Presents, huh? Well, what would he want? He has rather expensive tastes. Thinking of you when I'm by myself You keep turning me on I know you're out with someone else You keep turning me on You're such a bitch when you're in heat Taking all comers and not being discreet You're a big liar and you're lying to me you keep turning me on I don't care who or where you've been or what you did You're with me now All your mad tirades and the games you play Doesn't matter cause I love you anyway I'm so happy and I wanted to say for that trip to Paris. The city of love to hate. Oh, it was my pleasure. Good, because here's a few other things you can get me for your pleasure. After I get you all these things, then can we go steady? Well, if you get me all these things plus other things, then that equals maybe. Miss Gotham. I don't think you love me at all. I've been a fool. Love isn't taking, love is giving. And I have some giving back to do. 
Doey, where are you going? Where I should have gone from the beginning. Out of my way! Hey! Mr. Creepler? Doey. I almost made a big mistake. Let's get in the back of this van of yours. Hey. Ew! Yikes! What? Come on, Oro. I'm through with romance. Forever. Gee, Doey, your parents really do love you after all. They give you money, and they don't ever want anything in return. Not even you. Say, I guess you're right, Oro. I really do have a great life. Bye, Doey. Bye, Oro. grows as the river flows like a mother knows I knew it from the start you were my secret heart you riled me up to sing and got me pissed at everything with a heart so cold 